live in the Xbox Arena, it's Dead or Alive 4. Battling for the Dallas Venom, he's looking to reclaim his status as the world's greatest Dead or Alive player, Manny Master Rodriguez. And defending the Carolina Core, Master's longtime rival, the top ranked Ryan Offbeat Ninja War. For a very long time, the question was, can anyone defeat Master? Well, we set out to find the definitive answer by putting him in the ring with UFC champion Quentin Rampage Jackson. Without further delay, Emmanuel Master Rodriguez, Woo! known for his trademark slams. <laughs> Quentin Rampage Jackson. I didn't call you Master Boy. You got to call me Master in that ring. You ready to talk? Oh, oh no! <laughs> champ in the ring, but now you're coming to my ring. Oh, man. Oh, dog. Oh, man. Hey, you can hit me in the nut three times. That's illegal. I hope anybody watched that. Hey, just play like this. Oh! Woo! You even touch me, man. <laughs> Fake ass game. I'm out. This is my ring, dog. Fantastic, fantastic piece. Here is Manny Master Rodriguez, currently 7-2, second place. In DOA male rankings, let's find out the characters they'll be playing tonight. Master is competing as Ryu Hayabusa, a versatile ninja who has the unique ability to dodge and counterattack at the same time. Ryu can also execute the skull-shattering Azuna drop. Offbeat Ninja is competing as Ayn, a karate master with solid defensive skills and a collection of deadly grabs who likes to throw his rivals against the wall before he uses them to wipe the floor. Dallas, are you ready? Carolina, are you ready? All right, guys, ready, set, fight! Master only needs one round to secure victory for Dallas Venom in this, Dallas Venom in this match. However, Fatality, I don't need to remind the people here that the last time these two faced in offline matches, Offbeat Ninja 5 owned Master. Can he do it again? Let's find out. Round one, we do see Master with the health disadvantage. Huge axe kick coming out here by Offbeat Ninja. And he wins round number one. Will we see a repeat? I don't know. 5 owes a lot to ask for. Offbeat Ninja. Get you, get you right now. That's the last time. But you know, Master had to figure I had to learn something in that happen. last meeting. I agree. Yeah, he has to find it's not even himself good. his weakness, maybe be more aggressive. I think he was too defensive last time, personally. Let's find out. Oh, as the car comes out and nails off the engine to start off the match. He's not going to let that one slow him down, however, as he nails Master with a couple of nice hits and gets the high counter throw right there. And that throw would have set up the launch for the Azuna drop. And here we've got a nice combo coming out from Master. A quick set of one-two punches. He goes in for the low leg sweep. Again, these two players trying to bait one another with attacks. There he goes for the launch once again. And oh, we see once again Offbeat Ninja getting nailed by the car. And there it is. The one round that Master needed that will give the match win to Dallas Venom. The question is now, can Master win this one? Beat him? Yeah. Take it all away. Get, get one back for Dallas. Get one back for himself. You got to remember that Master is definitely, uh, he's playing for his team, but he's also playing for himself. A lot of pride on the line with well, this televised rematch. Well, the team thinks out of the way now. He's already won for his team. Now he has to do it for himself. Exactly. Let's see if he can do it right here. Both players about even, about 50%. Off the ninja with just a little bit left. He throws out a nice combo, equalizes things. We do see Master come back. There's an overhead throw. Nice judo throw over the head back. He tries to do a launch off of the sign there. Can't get it done. Goes in. Nice launch by Offbeat Ninja. And he picks up his first round win. Making, I believe, two for the match. 
one for off. He did just go. He was just he was laying on the ground there a little too much. He could have teched, which means like he could have moved his control around a lot and it came out of his down and rolled out a little bit more. But in those, in those two positions, when on the ground or coming out of it, you're at a big disadvantage. Let me correct the score there. It's two for Ozzy Ninja, one for Master. But of course, Master won the round that really counted. Now he's playing for himself. These guys showing just how much knowledge they have in the game. And uh, I say that because you see them blocking one another's attacks like like they know the combos they're throwing out like the back of their hand. Now we do see Offbeat Ninja getting majority of the damage right here. We've yet to see the Azuna drop come out from Master, but you know that's got to be on his mind. Look at that where his opponent's going to win. There's a nice little launch by Master. Goes in for the quick hit. Overhead judo throw. Goes in for the low leg sweep. And again, both players about even. Watch out for that car off beat Ninja. And again, we're going down to time. Master has the health advantage. So off beat Ninja, oh, he gets that low hit. Will that be enough? I think, oh, it's going to come down to the time. No, it won't. With .28 seconds left on the clock. Offbeat Ninja wins it. I Come think on, Master won. He can let the clock run out. But the clock can also work against you, as we just saw there in that match. Okay, now the point two eight right seconds left with Offbeat Ninja getting that last throw in there. Get ready, fight! Master <laughs> needs to bring a whole lot of rounds back in his favor. Can he do it? Big throw coming out there by Offbeat Ninja. Goes in for the quick combo. We see Master. Hitting the low leg sweep. These two just exchanging little hits. Uh, Offbeat Ninja finally getting that big hit. And the uh, car comes out. Offbeat Ninja just narrowly misses that one. He tried to dodge it. That actually, oh, Master gets one. Offbeat Ninja able to turn that one into a combo. And a second time, can he make it? Game point for himself. Not quite yet. He still needs a few more hits. And oh, he went for the launch. Offbeat Ninja was able to stop that launch. Low leg hit. What will happen here? There it is. A need that stomach and master goes down master is not happy about that one and it makes it four to one a little unlucky there for master that car hit him like that offbeat ninja took total advantage of it and that's what's all about taking advantage of open opportunities for yourself offbeat ninja is actually able to take that and do it finish a combo with that unlucky situation for master you know this would be a big win regardless uh, for Offbeat Ninja. Yes, they have not won it for the core, but it still makes him the number one dead or alive male and adds another win to his record, especially over uh, a killer opponent like Master. And you can see Offbeat Ninja doing a fantastic job here. Master finally coming back. A nice evasive roll over his opponent. Both players back off for just a moment now as we see some combos coming out by Offbeat Ninja. And we did see Master try to go for that delayed palm hit. There's the axe kick by Offbeat Ninja, huge combo to fish up, goes to the ground, hit, hits that one as well. There's a double leg kick from Offbeat Ninja, blocked by Master, and there's going to be the launch to the Azuna drop. And that's not going to do enough damage to win him the round, but he might be able to string this one together, gets the hits, and it's all going to come down to one final hit. There, the clock is becoming a cover factor once again. Oh, he got the throw! And Offbeat Ninja wins from the time. Master clinches it for Dallas Benham for the match win. However, Carolina, of course, Offbeat Ninja pulls off the victory in Dead or Alive Mail. He is left standing as the number one ranked Dead or Alive Mail in the championship gaming series. Down to Yoy, who's standing with Master. All right, congratulations, Master. Even though you lost your game overall, you contributed to your team's win. Now, how big was this for you? It was hilarious because as soon as I was going in, I was like, around? Come on, make it more challenging. Come on. So once I got the run, I was like, easy. It was like my, my GM said, icing on the cake. It was whatever. Now, how is it different for you to be competing for the team? Now, earlier you celebrated with the Rad Fairy T on her beautiful 5 0, and Nova's name contributed to Counter Strike Sword Team, did great. Um, for you to be a part of the team, how special is it? It feels great. I mean, I'm glad I have, I'm with the team that I am. I, I Raspberry T did the 5 0. My CS team brought it up. Nova's name ripped things apart. And I'm just here to finish it off. All right, now you guys are still in the running for the playoffs. Well, how are you going to train differently so that you make sure that your team makes it? Nonstop training, practice all the way. We want to go to the playoffs. 
I know I want to go to the playoffs, and we're going to make it happen. All right. Good luck for you.